joined now by the executive director of the Oakland Literacy Council, which for 37 years has enabled our students to achieve uh, literacy goals through partnership with trained tutors. And their executive director, Lisa Macheski, joins us now on the Megacast. Lisa, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Tyler. I really appreciate this opportunity. Appreciate having you on as, as well. So uh, tell us a little bit about the Oakland Literacy Council. Obviously, as I said, uh, it's been in operations for almost 40 years at this point. Tell us what uh, the goals of your organization is and, and how it helps to support literacy in our communities. Well, thank I love to be around this organization that has this 40 years of history um, and making sure that people have the basic skills they need to survive and thrive in our community. We focus on reading, English language, um, math, and digital literacy to make sure that people all have the foundational skills they need to be successful in the workplace, to be successful as parents, and to be successful just as a member of our community. We're joined by Lisa Macheski, the executive director of the Oakland Literacy Council on the on the Megacast. And so uh, some of the work that the work that you do, this 501c3 nonprofit organization is working with trained volunteer tutors that are helping to help individual students reach those literacy goals. Uh, where does that process usually start in not only uh, finding those connections and, and helping to build those relationships that are so critical in advancing these kids' literacy, uh, but also getting the kids into this program that may have some issues uh, with their literacy or with their reading comprehension? Well, Tyler, one of the first things to know is that we don't deal with kids. Okay. We deal with adults. We um, work with those that are 18 years or older, and we pair them with um, volunteer tutors. So it really is a peer relationship where people can build on those individual um, goals. Some of our learners are um, have English as not their first language, and they have learned um, are they are here and they need to have those English skills. But some of our learners are also those that have um, experienced some um, problems with the traditional um, school system. So we really believe that that one-on-one -on -one relationship is so important. And relationships are really at the foundation of all that we do. We wanna make sure that people have the space to um, be successful, to be able to try new things. It's hard as an adult to try new things when you might fail a little bit. Um, but we know that we um, failure is just a um, first step towards making sure that you meet your goals. Um, we have to try and experiment to learn something new. Um, our students come to us with a wide variety of literacy goals. Some are very simple. Um, that, a student might want to be able to talk to the child's teacher and be able to um, communicate more successfully in this new land for themselves. Um, others have um, literacy goals around making sure that they get that GED or making sure that they get into the training program that they might want. Um, others need to learn English in order to um, gain citizenship in here in this country. Yeah, and, and what's great about your programs too is, uh, even, even though your organization is the Oakland Literacy Council, it's not just e English language learning, or it's not just reading comprehension, that is the focus of these programs. Your tutors also are helping in, in uh, writing and in math skills as well for, for people all across the board that may have a variety of different factors uh, as to why they need some help in these areas. and, and no, no matter where they're going in, in life, no matter where they're at in life, those are such critical skills. So, where does the where does the where does this program uh, what does this program consist of? How are people coming to your organization for this assistance, and how does that matchmaking sort of go to get them with a tutor that can best help them with their needs? Well, um, thank you for mentioning math. It's one of our newest um, programming offerings, and we know that the need for basic math instruction is so much more than even basic English instruction. So we're really excited about getting the word out around now we offer math because there, it's a lot easier to say I struggle um, with math because for some reason that's not that's a socially acceptable thing to say, and it's not as socially acceptable to say I struggle with reading. Um, but students come to us from a wide variety of ways. Word of mouth is always our biggest um, reason why people come to us. Um, they could go to our website um, and register um, to go to www.oaklandliteracy.com and become a student. Or if they're interested in tutoring, they could just go to that same website and say become a tutor. And then you just put in some of the basic information. We'll call, we'll call you back or text you back or email you back, whatever your preference, and um, start the process. We're joined by Lisa Macheski, the executive director of the Oakland Literacy Council, joining us uh, on the Megacast. And so uh, you, 
uh, as we've mentioned, the tutors that are helping these individuals with their with their reading, with their writing, with their math skills, uh, or a combination of, of all of them, they're trained volunteers. What's what goes into that training uh, to prepare these individuals that uh, are going in with the right for the right reasons, for the right motivations? They want to help people. They they have their own uh, skills and abilities in these to certain areas and are and are uh, using that to assist people that need some that need some help. What sort of training does go into that into their volunteerism with the Oakland Literacy Council so that they're not only uh, utilizing their skills best, but they're doing so in a way that is most productive to help these individuals that are seeking the services of your organization? Well, our tutoring has changed a little bit in the um, past couple of years. Um, one, most of our um, tutoring is now done virtually, so people have to be able to um, handle a virtual environment. And our training is all done exclusively on a virtual environment. Um, we now require um, a uh, introduction training. It's a two hour training where we really talk about the diverse needs of all our tutors. And all tutors are required to go through that beginning um, training session. And then after that, you get to choose what specialty you're interested in. Are you interested in teaching an ESL learner? Are you interested in teaching an um, adult basic um, student around basic reading and writing? Or are you interested in uh, tutoring that math? Um, and we provide more in-depth experiences for you to do that piece too. So there's a two-part training that's required. Um, we also offer just basic information sessions um, periodically. If you go to our website, you'll be able to see all the different times that a um, ability to just find out about us. Um, talk to our tutor coordinator, Lori Weeks, and she'll talk about what the training looks like. Um, we do expect all our tutors to meet at least once a week with their learner. Um, vacations are okay. Um, and they work with them on whatever the individual needs as far as their um, individual learning goal. Uh, this education is also supported with online learning. Um, tutors really have um, a lot of tools at, ha at hand to um, make sure that that reading goes or that successful tutoring relationship and learning happens. Um, also, our learners are also able to be involved in um, conversation groups or other small group learning. So we really have three ways um, of learning, but really the fundamental piece of, piece of it is that one-on-one -on -one relationship. We're joined by Lisa Machesky, Executive Director of the Oakland Literacy Council. You can learn more information by visiting oaklandliteracy.com. That is oaklandliteracy.com, where you can learn about becoming a student, becoming a mentor, uh, participate in their news and events, uh, find uh, tools for tutors as well, uh, and more information. Again, oaklandliteracy.com. Uh, and, and so uh, are there any requirements for tutors as, the, as they're oncoming and they're volunteering with their organization? What does your organization uh, look for uh, in a tutor, and what are some of the requirements that they need to cover in order to participate in some of these programs as a volunteer tutor? Well, first of all, enthusiasm and want to help are the most important requirements for all of our tutors. And um, But you don't need a higher education. You don't need to be trained as a tutor, although many, many of them are um, involved in that and they have that experience. You don't need to have that experience. You just have to have a desire to help. Um, some ability to organize things, make sure you set up meetings, you have to do some of your own lesson plans. It's really, it, it is an intensive experience, but the rewards are so great because it really allows you to make a difference in somebody's life at a very fundamental level. Because once you gain some of these skills, you can really participate in our um, society at a much de deeper level. We're joined by Lisa Machuski, the Executive Director of the Oakland Literacy Council on the Megacast. Again, you can learn more information about the organization by visiting oaklandliteracy.com. And so uh, on your website, you have uh, a link to meet the 35 faces of literacy. So many success stories uh, from people that have en engaged in your program and have uh, built so many of, of those skills that they've sought to build. Can you give us a, a, an example of, of a couple of success stories of people that have engaged in Oakland Literacy, Literacy Council programming and come out on the other side with those skills that they wanted to, to obtain and how it's helped improve their life. 
One of the stories that we like to tell this past year, or one of our most recent graduates, is he has opened his own sushi restaurant um, on Lake Orion. And one of his things that he worked on with his tutor was all the regulations and things that you needed to open a business, especially um, a food business. So he worked with his tutor to understand what the leasing requirements were, or all these different things. Um, so he's a business owner now because of um, our help. And then we also, last week, we just um, had word that one of our students became citizens and um i also um lo love to tell the story of this individual who um decided she was now um had custody of her grandchildren and wanted to be that good model as they were learning online she was learning online too she wanted to make sure that she was going to get that ged that she had long promised herself and it, by having those kids in the room she wanted to be that good role model she's really making some great progress we're joined by Lisa Machowski, the executive director of the Oakland Literacy Council, joining us on the Megacast. You can learn more information about the organization as well as how you can participate either as a student if you need uh, some of this, some of their uh, assistances or as a tutor, how you can become a tutor and find some tools to help you uh, with tutoring as well by visiting oaklandliteracy.com. Lisa, just a few more minutes with you uh, before we'll say goodbye today. Uh, any other uh, information that we haven't discussed on the Oakland Literacy Council, on people's participation, uh, on your programs and different events that you'd like to discuss or anything else that we should be considering at this, at this moment in time uh, as we're trying to help ourselves and help our neighbors improve in some of these uh, basic skills that are so critical to everyday life but in, in some ways in a number of different ways in a number of different ways uh, can either fall to the wayside or be a struggle for people that are new uh, to our area to our country uh, to the state of Michigan. Wonderful. Well, I really like to highlight some of our new programming. So or people who have, have some familiarity with us might not know about that we are now offering math. And we are really focusing on making sure that people have the skills to get into um, training programs or um, OCC. Um, we want to make sure that people have those basic math skills, especially those um, who have had online learning for the past couple of years. Uh, math is what, one of those difficult things um, around that, and we are always looking for more tutors for that um, aspect. Um, but it's really some basic math that you need the, those practical skills, and that's what all our tutors focus on, making sure that they're focusing on practical skills. We're not just drilling multiplication tables and things like that. We're really taking examples, like if you're interested in construction, how do you figure out how much paint you might need to paint a room and um, thinking about surface areas and things like that. And we're also doing a lot of programming around digital literacy. We really have found, um, especially with a pandemic that Digital skills are so important. You can't make doctor's appointments without them. You can't make sure that you're ordering groceries. Those digital skills have really become a cornerstone and foundational basic skill. And we're working with that. We have a um, curriculum around digital literacy. We also make sure that we help people um, get into internet access and have devices if needed. So if you want to be um, a participant in our programs, don't worry that you don't have the computers or anything like that. We make sure that we walk you through and we'll get you all the tools that you need. You can learn more information by visiting the website at oaklandliteracy.com or by visiting sharedetroit.org and searching Oakland Literacy Council. And while you're over there, explore uh, there are other 267 at this time charities and nonprofits in the Metro Detroit area that they are supporting and sharing information about. Lisa, thank you very much for joining yes, us. Yes, Share Detroit. <laughs> They're very great. They are. They are great. We appreciate your time, Lisa. Thank you for being with us.